Freedom of the press is something that's held dear. At the end of the day, we need to know what's going on in the world, have it reported. The problem is that narrative that the press deliver more and more these days is entirely skewed. And if you go against that narrative and report the truth rather than what they're trying to spin you, you can get yourself in trouble. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Now, there's one journalist that's gone, got themselves in a little bit of trouble, and I, I need to get this right. I think they called it a non-crime hate incident, something like that. The journalist I refer to is Alison Pearson. Uh, she's got herself in trouble over a tweet she made about a particular subject a year ago, from what I understand, and deleted it. Hang on to the end of the video, and I'll tell you about another journalist that's got themselves in a bit of trouble as well. It's getting insane. You know, when we see things, and when we want to report on things, we have a right to, in a truthful, full, factual manner. And when things are done to try and stop that from happening, it's completely insane. Even Elon Musk agrees. Have a look at this news clipping here. And he's wading into this, all to do, again, with free speech. You know, people like me uh, class very loosely, I suppose, what you would term as a citizen journalist. We have no qualifications. We have no press experience, apart from what you build up running in the channels. We literally are just normal people who want to report a bit of truth. We have to be careful, too. There are disclaimers going up on YouTubers' videos saying, this is just my opinion, don't nick me. I don't agree with that, and it's not something I would be doing myself because I word things in a certain way. But Alison Pearson, going back to her, she's been called in for a voluntary interview. Apparently what she printed comes under the Public Order Act or something like that. And this is really disgraceful because you've got people getting put in prison you got people getting into trouble for what you would term wrong think, and you've got some very dangerous individuals still walking the streets. It just proves yet again that our criminal justice system is backwards, doesn't it? And as Musk said, completely insane. She has a right to do her job, the same as I have a right to do mine. And in this very near communistic state that we're beginning to find ourselves in, you do worry, is it all gonna disappear? Now, the other journalist is one online that does the rounds a lot, David Atherton. And I was, you know, quite shocked to see this tweet that he put up yesterday. He's been called in uh, for a voluntary interview, again, for something that he put up online, not once, but twice. And he received a letter saying that if he didn't turn up this time round, he'd be nicked. A warrant would be put out for his rest. Arrest. Very, very sinister stuff. You know, you always have to check all your information before you go live of anything. Me, personally, I have a guy that emails me half a dozen versions of the same news story from different sources so you can get the facts absolutely correct, and that's how it has to be. You need to watch these videos on the mainstream media and how they twist and move things around. I'll talk to you soon.